Rhizosorb is redefining what growers expect from phosphate fertilizer. Backed by data and built for performance, Rhizosorb helps reduce phosphorus losses, improve uptake, and boost ROI without increasing input costs. Join the next wave of growers switching to the next generation of phosphorus fertilizers by visiting phospholutions.com. <laughs> I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture here today at Ag in Motion in Saskatchewan and speaking with Teresa Aguiar Cordero who is a PhD student with the University of Saskatchewan so welcome Teresa it's great to see you. Thank you very much. Okay so tell us a little bit about what you have been working on what are you looking at? Sure so I'm looking at insect pests specifically Lygus insect in pulse crops and so in the previous work, I was working in Lygus in fava bean, and now I'm working in Lygus, aphids, grasshoppers in lentils. Um, so we are wondering to know how the insect density is affected by the weather, but more than that, in the beneficial insects too. So I'm not only analyzing only the insect pests, but I'm also analyzing the beneficial insects. Um, and I'm also doing uh, different experiments in the field and taking images with drones to analyze how the images give us like an idea of how the different insect densities um, or, the in, or, the, or the different treatments with pesticide affect like the canopy of the plants. And how far into this work are you? Um, the images, uh, I'm just like starting uh, working on that, but I have been working the previous three years in how is the feeding behavior and how are the preferences for Ligus insects. So, yeah. What are some of the things that you find fascinating about Ligus bugs? Um, that they can not only affect like the seeds, but also can affect the yield by piercing and sucking the plants, like the, the, the flowers of the plants, and that they are affected by the weather too. So, um, Something fascinated for me is like how the weather and how the environmental variables can affect the insect densities around. So now I'm super curious of how lichus population and also like the other pests and beneficials are affected with all of these variables. Have you seen any commonalities in certain weather patterns that really affect lichus bugs and how do they affect the lichus bugs? Well, um, because I have been working in fava beans, it, we have like a belt in the map of fava beans. So the geography is super important. So that's why that now I'm working with lentils and have like different, um, um, yeah, geography. I'm curious of now how the geography is affecting them. Um, but also I know that the weather, the humidity affect them. Does it promote the populations or decrease them with the humidity? Depends on the Lagos species. We have four different Lagos species in the province. So there are two species that are uh, affected, negatively affected by the humidity and two others that, not, that don't. And also three of them are negatively affected, sorry, are, are not affected by the temperature. So yeah, I mean it's it's challenging to answer that question. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more questions that come up as you do your research. Well, thank you so much. And that was Teresa Aguiar Cordero on Real Agriculture. Yeah.